Johnny from WP Johnny here to do a video review of my favorite membership plugin of all time, uh, WordPress membership plugin of all time. So uh, I've been running memberships for maybe like since eight years ago or so. I've run a couple different ones and I've tried many different membership plugins. MemberPress is by far my favorite one. Um, the other really awesome one is uh, Restrict Content Pro uh, by Pippin's Plugins and then also um, Easy Digital Downloads by also by Pippin's Plugins, which is like a bigger, more massive thing. It's even beyond memberships. Uh, but MemberPress is my favorite one for these reasons. So right off the bat, um, I'm just going to go through their site a little bit just so you can get a vibe. So I like that it's like made for developers. It's made for just serious developers, people who are coding and, and building websites. It's not aimed at like marketers, right? It's not aimed at like that digital, digital marketer, make money from home, doing nothing, passive income, passive income hacking, like be lazy and be rich. It, it's not catered to that kind of um, user. It's catered to developers and, and people who are, you know, making important things and essential tools and um, in the WordPress community. So I really like that, that the marketing is it speaks to me. It's my kind of vibe and I, I like the clean look. The pricing is fair. Now let's get straight to the plugin. So uh, I can't show you my actual membership site because there's uh, sensitive user information and whatnot, but I've installed it here on my test site. So. When you first log into your WordPress dashboard, you'll see something like this. This is nice. It shows you um, your seven day membership activity. To set up memberships, you go to the member press panel. So let's pretend um, that I just have a brand new site. I need to send up member I need to set up memberships and whatnot. Uh, what's involved? So first thing you'll probably do, you'll go to settings. And well, yeah, you unturn the license and whatnot. You decide which pages are going to be your login page, your account page, your thank you page. Uh, if you don't have uh, any particular ones in mind, they've already set up the default ones for you and they work right out of the box. Then in accounts, you decide like you know where users get redirected after they log in, um, whether you're allowing coupons or not, uh, whether or not you allow like prorated subscriptions or single page checkout. So a lot of little like nuance. Uh, features that other membership plugins don't have or don't do it as easily. Then here you can decide which user information fields are collected like name, address, uh, maybe you want to ask them uh, how did you hear about me or what kind of uh, benefits are you most you know interested in or whatever right. Payment methods, you pick your payment gateways. Um, okay so if I, I've only installed PayPal and Stripe. Uh, email, so these are all the emails I get sent to members and these are the emails I get sent to administrators and then you can even edit uh, you know edit how they look and where they're coming from marketing you decide like uh, who gets email sent and if they opt in automatically or not your business info your taxes so it's pretty clean I, I went through all that in just about two minutes uh, okay then the next thing you do is you can go to memberships and this is where you create your your different membership levels right so your different subscription plans so to speak Maybe you'll have like a bronze, silver, gold, or maybe you'll have like a pro, premium, enterprise, or whatever, right? Whatever you want to call your memberships, you go here. Then over here, there's the groups function. So you can group your memberships into different groups. This is key because you might have like different type of memberships. Like, uh, let's pretend these memberships are for the guitar lesson students. And then these memberships are for the drumming lesson students. And then within the groups, you add different memberships and then users can upgrade, you know, upgrade and downgrade. Like they can go from uh, guitar level two to guitar level three or guitar level three to guitar level two or vice versa on the drumming or whatever. So this is key. Um, a lot of membership plugins don't have the groups option. Okay. Another thing the groups is useful for is when you want to sell stuff that's not even memberships. So I sell uh, products sometimes in my membership sites. It's just like a like a one-off product, right? Like a digital product. So it's it's really useful for that. So after you create your memberships, what you'll do is you'll go to rules. And in rules, you'll just add a new rule and there you create little rules of um, what content gets protected and who can access it. So for example, you can make a rule like uh, all my blog posts are now only accessible by 
bronze members or maybe it's accessible by bronze silver and gold members okay uh, you can go this page this special content gold member download page is only accessible by gold members not bronze or silver so you could you add all the rules wh wh however you like uh, it's very easy um, it's just one page one button you go in there and you create your rule. Oh, I have a page builder and thing going on right now so I, I should have disabled this before I started uh, next you have coupons so coupons is really cool uh, you can give coupons that give a discounted rate uh, or maybe just a discounted price or like a 30-day free trial whatever um, and other membership plugins don't have this so I love it it's a it's a really awesome critical feature reminders this is really cool uh, when people's subscriptions are about to to end you can send a reminder like five days before it ends three days be, three days before it ends you can say hey you know, pay or you can also even go hey if you renew now here's a coupon code right or you can even do a reminder that's like way ahead of their their expiration date and says hey if you you upgrade uh, in the next couple days or something we'll, we'll give you a big discount I think you can use the dripping function to do that as well here you go to members you see all the members in your in your membership and you, you can filter them by active expired not you can filter by memberships I didn't create any membership so nothing's happens here you can search by their name last whatever and of course you can you know click these things and you can filter uh, I love the design the styling it's very clean you can you can go through it very quickly especially on sites where you have thousands of members uh, then comes times for the the subscriptions so you can see who um, all the active subscriptions like their PayPal subscriptions or credit card subscriptions so you can like cancel their subscriptions from here uh, you, or you can you know, just make sure that they have one you can go here uh, you can also go to transactions so I love this uh, you can see all the transactions that are in here and you can manually enter some so this is useful for again seeing all the transactions uh, seeing who actually paid you when they paid how they paid uh, and then you can use that to refund them um, or also people who paid you in a different way or on the side or you just want to give them credit or something you can manually add a transaction here so some of these features they seem like basic stuff and believe it or not there's other membership plugins that don't have them or they have them but it's not as designed in in such an intuitive manner then come re uh, reports here I can see all the memberships I've sold and the different memberships um, you know if I did have some sales you'd like see charts and bars and pie charts and whatnot um, you can pick different months and years different periods monthly yearly all time I've also created a uh, I've created my own uh, like add-on plugin for member press so I, I called it like member press pro reports or something I don't know if it's on the repository yet but you can download it from my website it shows the information and in like just much more you can see way more data um, so I think it's really cool and it's free so get it while it's free settings uh, we've already been there and then there's add-ons so this is really cool you can see all the different integrations um, oh okay well I didn't put in my license but when you go in here you can see all the different add-on options so let me let me just uh, uh, let me go through the site here. Du, du, du. Features. Where is it? They had a they had a page that just shows uh, integrations. So you can see all the different like email services that integrate with MemberPress and all the affiliates. Uh, AWS if you're using there to to host your giant files, maybe giant video files or download files, whatever you've got. And people can download it from there instead of you know off your slower or clogged web hosting server different payment gateways a social media social networking software um, integrations and all kind all kinds of stuff so they've got plant pl it's very healthy uh, tons of third-party integrations um, you can pretty much do almost anything you want of course SMTP so you can make sure your emails get delivered uh, they don't get caught in the spam box and then the analytics oh okay here you go you put some conversion trackers you can see who you know who bought a what sales page they came from which which advertising campaigns were the most successful in, in producing members and profit and etc etc so I really love member press um, I'm a big fan I've used it now for for about four years I love it I'm so happy um, 
you know, is there a lot of active development and a lot of like, uh, like people chatting about it in the community? No, not really, but it just works. It's very mature. It's very stable. I've never had issues. Um, there is a little community group on Facebook if you need help from time to time. Their support is quite responsive. And overall, the plugin is just so easy that you probably won't need too much help setting it up. It's, it's pretty easy. All right, guys, I hope this was informative, and I hope it uh, influences you to give MemberPress a try. And if you don't try this one, Restrict Content Pro and Easy Digital Downloads are my second choice. Okay, see you guys next time.